Coming up next, a new Street Fighter 2 game? Has it been six months already? Wait, you need a password to play it? To find out more, stay here. This is GTV. Take the chance. Street Fighter 2, certainly one of my faves that took a lot of my money back in the 90s. How many years has it been anyway? At least 30, it feels like. Whether you were on Team SF2 or came from a Mortal Kombat household, one thing is undeniable. Street Fighter 2 is, was, and will forever be the game that refuses to die. Remember all the upgrades this thing had? Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Hyper Fighting, Super Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter the Movie, The Game, Hyper Street Fighter 2, and on and on into infinity. Even in the 2020s, there are still new versions of Street Fighter 2 you can play. The one I want to focus on is a free promotional minigame, and I'm gonna tell you how to play. Beginning on November 29th, 2022, Japanese snack maker Glico teamed up with Capcom to release Street Fighter 2 Pocky KO Edition. A special limited edition of the stuff went on sale with Street Fighter 2 packaging featuring Yu and Chun-Li on the box. As an aside, the Chun-Li boxes feature the thin version of Pocky because a right and proper woman has to watch her figure. Street Fighter 2 Pocky KO Edition was created to celebrate the 35th anniversary of the entire Street Fighter series and takes its inspiration from the limited time Pocky Challenge from 2019, found in Street Fighter 5. Wait, 5? What happened to Street Fighter 4? Or 3? I only remember re-re-re-re-releases of Street Fighter 2 over and over again. The back of the box tells you what you need to know. Scan the QR code and you'll go right to the game. You will need a secret password to gain access, which is featured on the inside of the box. You should probably go track down a box of Street Fighter 2 Pocky for yourself to get the code. Because, after all, you want to support Capcom and not just get a free ride, right? Okay, I'll share the password, but just keep it between us, okay? The password is T-R-Y-P-K-O, as in Try Pocky K-O. Now that you're behind the paywall, you can play to your heart's content until June 30th, 2023, that is, when the promotion ends. So, what's it all about? It's your standard version of Street Fighter 2, with the choice of Yu or Chun-Li. The challenge lies in being able to defeat your opponent with just enough energy left that your energy meter looks like a stick of Pocky. If you're playing the game and your health reaches that level, the Pocky Chance meter will light up. If you can knock out your opponent with the meter activated, you will win the game and be awarded a Pocky KO. Pocky KO! If you can't, then you can still win the game without anything special happening. The game features two stages. Use standard stage from classic SF2 and an all new unique Doltombori stage featuring the famous Guriko Running Man billboard in the background. If you have ever been to Osaka, you know what I'm talking about, as the Running Man is absolutely the most famous landmark in Japan. I don't remember seeing Umai Burger when I was there, but eh, that was decades ago. You can play the game on a computer or smartphone. The computer version allows for two players. You have to use the keyboard to play, and boy is it strange. Imagine four hands on that cramped space trying to play Street Fighter 2. Thankfully, the controls are a bit simplified. You have standard punch and kick buttons, a button for jumping, which is a little strange, and a button for special attacks. Hadoukens, spinning star kicks, and what have you. The smartphone version is a little bit easier to control because all you have to do is touch the screen. It seems a little too easy at first because you can hit the special attack button over and over again. But if you do that, you'll never get the Pocky KO. You have to take a few hits to drain your energy meter. Even that seems simple enough, except that attacking your opponent will sometimes recharge your meter meaning you can lose your Pocky chance at the last minute. It provides an interesting balance where you have to engage in the fight enough to almost lose, then still win, while trying to manage the unwieldy controls. I found the computer version of the game nearly unplayable. The controls are one thing, but the game runs so slowly. 
I thought the Super Famicom had slowdown problems, but this is much worse than that. Over and over, you'll find yourself saying, okay, he jumped, now I have to wait to land. Okay, I pushed punch, what's happening? Oh, okay, he finally punched. You get the point. One time, I even triggered some sort of bug where the game just froze. Not the game, just the characters. I was stuck here unable to move with the counter just running out. Chun-Li couldn't even get up. I didn't think that was possible. Don't the characters just automatically get up? What is going on here? The smartphone version runs much better. However, the two-player option is not available there. If you can win with a Pocky KO, the game is over, even after one round. Your time is displayed with the goal of trying to have the fastest Pocky KO amongst you and your friends. Winning with a Pocky KO has a few effects on the game that are fairly amusing. The victory marks change to Pocky boxes. Yu's and Chun-Li's guts poses feature them holding up a Pocky stick, while the loser is seen happily holding a box of Pocky. The victory message is also Pocky related, extolling the delicious virtue of unsalted pretzels covered in chocolate. If you can't secure the Pocky KO, then there's a slightly angry message regarding the inability of that character to get some Pocky. Then the entire Street Fighter II cast joins you to share happiness. While Street Fighter II Pocky KO Edition is a short, simple, slightly buggy two-stage variant of Street Fighter II, it is kind of fun for being one of the unusual ways Japanese games will cross over with other industries from time to time. This also isn't the first go-round for Capcom and Street Fighter. As I'm sure we'll all remember, the Strong Fighter 2 augmented reality game, where bottles of the strong carbonated water became a makeshift bonus stage from Street Fighter 2. Yeah, there isn't much to these, but I still say it's pretty cool that if you're lucky enough to be in the right place at the right time, you can catch a cheap novelty to brighten your day that won't be around forever. And if nothing else, 10 years later, when someone else repeats the same story I've just told you with a conveniently tacked on clickbait headline, the lost Street Fighter 2 game you can never play, you can say, been there, done that. Hey, is it just me, or does it look like Ryu and Chun-Li are gonna start going at it?